We made it to 100 videos. Yes, that includes shorts, but 100 is 100, right? So I also wanted to take this time to kind of update everyone on the channel and what they can expect going forward. So this video is not sponsored. I, everything I'm saying is just, hey, I really like these products. These are the things I use. Go check them out if you want to. We'll still have our sponsor, CNC Labs, maker of the long mill. We're also going to be replacing all the wheels on this, redoing the spoil board, and a couple other things. So make sure you're subscribed so you can keep up with all those. While we're on the topic of companies I'm engaging with, let's talk about Pixel CNC. Now, this is a CAD cam that I just did a video on. I did review. Yes, I did receive a free copy of that software. And yes, I do have affiliate link. However, my affiliate link for every five copies sold, I'm gonna be able to give away a free copy of Pixel CNC. And I'll be giving that copy away on the Making It Up As We Go live stream on YouTube, 8 p.m. Central on Saturdays. And you can go check out the crew from there. Uh, we got Ryan, we got Sean, and we got Paul, and then we got other Paul. I'm other Paul, and I'm really looking forward to what the future has in store there. So thank you to the crew over at Making It Up as we go. Future editing Paul here. Let's clarify where we want to go in software. So instead of just using one program and just always going to that, we're going to keep our options open. So you've seen we've done Carbide Create, we've done Etzel Cam, or however you say it. I Someone said I'm saying it wrong. I don't know. That's how I say it. I see the L. I see you, L. And we're going to be using Pixel CNC. We're going to be using Illustrator. We're still going to talk about Inkscape and GIMP and what past Paul will mention a little later on is that we'll also have to add some uh, slicers in there. But Let's get back to past Paul and see what he has to say. And if you've been watching my latest videos, you might have seen me mention Cadence Manufacturing. Well, I've been using these bits a lot lately. They have a 90, 60, and 30 degree down cut bit. Again, no sponsor, no affiliate links on these. I just really like these. And these really have become my go-to bits. So we focused a lot on CNC on this channel and it's been fun it really has but it has kind of pushed one of my first hobbies to the side 3d printing now this is my old printer bot xl and we're gonna see can i replace uh, the hot end and the board and get this up and functional again or should i just get a whole brand new uh 3d printer we'll also see if we can add some of the newer bells and whistles that are available on current 3D printers. So really looking forward to getting back into this. And of course, we're still gonna do projects. We're still gonna do acrylic. We're still gonna do edgelets, adrenos, and the Raspberry Pi 5 is gonna be out soon. So hopefully we can get our hands on one of those and uh, see how it does on the CNC. Hey, don't want this video to go too long, but I do wanna run through another quick shout out and that's to my family. My wife and my daughters, I love you. Thank you so much for putting up with me while I do all this. You all have been super supportive and thank you. I can't tell you enough how much I love you all and appreciate that you've let me do this. And to you of those watching out there, thank you for watching. Thank you for the likes and comments and subs. I'm blown away. It's been awesome. I can't wait to see what the next three years bring to this channel and what we can do and where we can grow. So let me know down below in the comments what you like to see, um, any suggestions, or just say hi. And until next time, remember, keep making stuff.